Hallelujah. You know how sometimes we say what we ain't going to do? Hmm? Young Brother Shannon, didn't they come up this morning? Oh, I ain't going to do this. I ain't going to do that. If that's all they got for me to eat, I know I don't eat. I'm not going to eat that. You understand? It's easy for us to say certain things when we are not, what you say this morning, under pressure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We haven't got there yet in some of the things you're failing right now. So how can you say what you're not going to do? Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. But we big and bold, brother Ben, say what well, we're not going to do when everything is going all right. Hallelujah. Then we look at our brother and our sister and we saw them fail. Oh, I can't believe she done that. I can't believe he done that. Who, me? I wouldn't have never done that. You ain't under pressure yet. You understand? And you're talking about your brother and your sister. But you're saying that you love Yahshua and Yahweh. Hallelujah. But Yahshua and Yahweh saw you when you was in your downfall, when you was in your sin, wallowing in it. You were sick to sin, a victim. But did Yahshua and Yahweh say that about you? Hallelujah. He reached down. Yahshua reached way down. Huh? And pick you up. But well, what will we do to our sister and our brother that we see that have fallen? Hmm? Do we just look at them and walk right by? See them begging for alms? Hmm? We got the means to meet their needs, but we just walk right by them. Talk about them. Talk about what you can't believe they done. Do that sound like some of us? Father is speaking to our heart. I hope we are listening. Hallelujah. Simple. But we find it hard to do. Hallelujah. Can we say hallelujah? Can we say hallelujah? I hope, Brother Ben, that we as a body is taking heed to what he's saying to us. Hallelujah. That's why he's speaking and taking his time because he want us to receive. He want us to know where we stand in him. Do you understand? Hallelujah. Might not be no shout message, but it's a good message. Let, let, me, let me move up here. I'm going to give us whatever he give me. L -l Listen at this here. I'm going to read this here. Listen at this. I got some things here jotted down for us to hear. Some people may say that it is our nature to do good to others. After all, there has been a random act of kindness, movement, a long time. But in general, most people only help others win. Y'all ready for the hear the win? Hmm? Listen at this. It's their friend or their family. Hmm? I got another one. Listen at this one. It's convenient for them. Do, do that sound like some of us in here? I got another one for us. Listen at this. There is a good mood. But when we're feeling good, we want to do good for everybody. But when we are mad, don't talk to me. They don't sound like you. Now, I ain't helping nobody. Don't come ask me for nothing. Do that sound like some of us in here? Why? Because we're in a bad mood. 
Mm, but we're supposed to be a child of the most high now. Don't forget. Huh? You say that out of your own mouth. And you done read that scripture. Do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. Hmm. But you in that bad mode, brother Ben. You upset. I ain't doing nothing for nobody. But we don't realize at that very moment, Yahshua can come and call you in. And you die. You ever thought about that? When you get drunk on anger. Hallelujah. Don't play Russian roulette with your life. If you a child of the most high, be a, don't act like one. But be like one. Hallelujah. Why yeah. yeah. sometimes we put on and we act, brother Ben, especially when we come to the congregation. We want to be important. We want to look proud. We want to look like a saint. I uh, want a child of the most high. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You put on your put on clothes that make you put on. Hallelujah. A man can live righteous all his life hmm? and commit one. What, what does the scripture say? All your righteousness. Hmm? Brother Ben, I'm taking my time because I want us to hear, brother. It make us think. Huh? We got to think. Your moods. I, I got another one more. They expect something in return. Boy, that's a lot of folks. I'm not going to do anything if it's not nothing in it for me. Wow. Do that sound like a child of the most high? Hmm. See, when you are a child of the most high, you are different. Do you understand? Now, when you become a child of the most high, if someone told you everything was going to be all right, they lied to you. You understand? They lied to you. Yes, sir. That's when it seemed like all hell break loose. Yep. You know why? I'm glad you asked. Because Satan is trying to get back what he had. Uh -huh. You understand? Now, I'm a child of the most high now, brother Ben. You cannot control me anymore. I do not have desires to do what you want me to do anymore. That's why scripture tell us through trials and tribulations you will see me. He letting us know all the time we're going to go through. Satan wants you. You understand? And the only way he can get you if you give yourself unto him. Yes, sir. I want you to understand that. He came again. He cannot make you do anything that you don't have a desire to do. Hallelujah. I'm going to talk to these weak folks for a minute. Hallelujah. Yeah. Simple. If you're weak to something, stay away from it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What are you talking about, Brother Blackwell? We put ourselves in certain positions to cause us to fall. Do you understand? If I'm weak to alcohol, I'm weak to smoking, I'm weak to women, I'm weak to money, I'm weak to whatever. Brother Blackwell, stay away from it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, it looked like Yahshua done clean you up, brought you out of the world, but then you go back saying, I'm going out there to get the ones that I was out there with. He don't need you. 
got other men for that. But we fear, brother Ben, we can save the whole world. Well, his prophets couldn't do it. Hallelujah. Yahshua couldn't do it because the whole world won't be saved. The majority of the world is going to hell. You don't believe me? What do you, what, what do you say about that straight and narrow path? Huh? Who, who, who's, who's going down that road? Uh, he said, what, Brother Ben? A few. Yes, Hallelujah. He, I think he said, Brother Ben, somewhere in the old script, he said, if the righteous, huh? If the righteous. Yes. It's where would the ungodly on, huh? remain? Yes, sir. If the righteous. Now, listen to what he said. If the righteous scarcely make it in. So that tells me I ain't got no room to talk about nobody else. Yes, indeed. I got to work on myself. How did I have to tell this story back in the day? Sister Carrie. Sister Carrie made a statement. She said, you got six months. Hmm? You got six months to take care of your business. And you got the other six months to stay out of somebody else's business. Do you understand? Busy bodies. Uh -huh. And other people matters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like Brother Williams used to say, don't throw rocks if you're living in a glass house. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Work out your own soul salvation with fear and trembling. Hallelujah. We got to be careful. Our sins will find us out. Hallelujah. Do you understand, sisters and brothers? I'm going to get ready to stop. Hallelujah. After we read this scripture, and we might stop. Philippians 2. Hallelujah. Isn't he worthy? To be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two uh, fourteen. Hallelujah. He is talking to his children. Hallelujah. Let us move up, Brother Shandon, to um, Brother Shandon. Say, mm -hmm. where, are you, Brother Shandon? 12. Twelve. Tell you what, put 11 in there, Brother Shandon. Yes, I'll be like you was this morning. Try to get this whole pie. Now everybody listen up. And every tongue should confess that Yahshua the Messiah is master to the esteem of Elohim the Father. Mm-hmm. So that my beloved, as you always obey, not only in my presence, but now much rather in my absence, 